This is what you call recovery in 2013. They definitely did not have this in 1928. But the Normatec team uh, helped me out when I rode across America a few years ago, and they asked to help me once again. These crazy looking boots, space legs, essentially help you recover. They speed up the body's ability to recover from really strenuous exercise. There are five chambers in each one of these legs, and essentially there's a pump that's just helping to push the blood through your legs and get rid of all that lactic acid. It's sort of like three types of massage that is happening all at once, and absolutely perfect for this ride that we're doing. This is the start of stage 10, and this morning we're joined by Julie, Ben's wife, who's come in all the way to visit him, and also Marco. And you can see Marco is absolutely decked out in the original clothing. He has an amazing, immaculate bicycle, and uh, he knows the route, which is great, takes all the pressure off us. So we're all ready for our official start of stage 10 with Marco, and at the very last minute, Marco Maybe. says, uh, guys, uh, you're pointing towards Spain. Oh, we're going that we way. actually got to go that okay, way. So turn around. To That's know right. that they knew the, the way to go just takes so much pressure off us because we're not having to think about left or right at each intersection. And we could really just settle down and try to need, uh... smell the roses, really try to enjoy the ride. We're about uh, 30 miles into the ride and Julie is headed back. We're on our own now with Marco. Ben and I started our first climb and we decided that in honor of Fabio Castatelli that we would ride up the hill in our big chain ring, in our big 50 chain ring. At some points the road was getting up to 17% grade so we were really suffering. But we stopped and we looked at the plaque at the, at the specific spot where Fabio died and just took a moment to reflect. Uh, he was one of Lance Armstrong's teammates and he was coming down the hill and overcooked the turn. Out of here? Yeah and hit his head against the ground, I guess, and died pretty immediately, left a one-year-old child behind, and his wife, he was the 1992 Olympic champion. I never thought that I would say that riding 15,000 feet in more than 200 miles would be easy, but compared to stage nine, it was a lot easier. That said, we did suffer, but it was just so cool to have this passionate cyclist with us in Marco. And we had a great surprise along the way when a friend of mine just happened to be living along the route and turned up and offered us all these supplies and was lying there in a hammock. Very nice to see you. Bass. Well, he gave us a tour of the neighborhood, which happened to be on the Ew. route. So that was really nice. This was a nice break and suddenly started to eat up all the miles as he was telling us where his kids went to school and where he picked up the local fromage, the cheese, and what it was like to live in that particular community. We've uh, arrived in Bass's local market town where he's going to leave us. He led us here and now he's going to leave us. And uh, man, do you live in a nice place? Well, I, I've got to ride up to the other side of that hill there because that's where my house is. The house is up there. And you guys have got to ride. You see those two peaks yep. up there? You're going to follow this valley all the way up following this river. It's called the Salat. And then you're going to go up just to the left of those peaks. That's the Spanish border. Right there. Yeah. Well, you live in a nice place, mate. Really well, nice place. Enjoy the rest of your ride. So we go this way, you go that way. Keep going up. All right. Up, 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 up. All right, up, mate. Up, Thanks up, a lot, up, eh? Up. Appreciate it. You know, this is tough on Ben and I, but it is extremely tough on our support crew. So I just couldn't do it without them. And Greg is trying to sleep wherever he possibly can. And every now and again, I just see him completely flat on a park bench. Day turned in tonight, and we kept following the old route. We really were excited to know that we were on the exact road. We knew exactly where they had been in 1928. We've made every effort to try to stick to the old road, and it's left us to this tunnel, which is now abandoned, and obviously prone to a few rock slides. But we know that Harry and his mates came right through this tunnel. It's kind of spooky, like really going back in time. I want to send a shout out to a good friend of mine, David Adler, who is an amazing MS supporter and who had a terrible bike accident just before we headed away on this ride. Thinking about you, David. And as you know, we are raising money for MS with this film. 
and I want to thank you for all the work that you've done and just to let you know that when we're out on the road, we're thinking about you.